Hey everybody and welcome back to our channel where we simplify software one tutorials at a time. In today's video we are diving into Square for Retail. The all-in-one point of sale system designed to help you run your retail business smarter, faster and smoother. Whether you're managing inventory, tracking sales or checking out customers, Square for Retail offers powerful tools that can make your life easier. So stick around because we will walk you through everything from setting up your store to using the POS, managing stock and even checking reports step by step. So if you're ready to level up your retail game, hit that like button, subscribe and let's begin. Now the first thing that you need to do, visit the official website of Square. There's going to be an option to log in using your credentials, but the best option is to click the get started because you will be forwarded to a new page for you to create an account here. Just provide all of the details needed. After that, click the create account button and then you will be forwarded to the main homepage of Square for Retail. Now, the homepage is going to be the dashboard or landing page that gives you a snapshot of your business performance. Since this is going to be a newly created account, you don't have anything yet. But you should be able to see the sales summary, inventory alerts, quick links to essential tools like setting up your payments, All right, get approved to accept payments, shop for hardware and take a payment, daily insights and recommendations, and a lot more. But the good thing is, when you click the another section for items and services this is where you can create your product and service catalog where you can add and manage physical goods and services right here so you need to choose for example an item library channel listings service library and a lot more right so you have all these the payments and invoices is going to be the section where you can right here manage how you get paid for both in-store and remotely process transactions and of course create and send digital invoices now we're going to set up the uh, accepting payments i want you to click the start button you will be forwarded to a new page now you need to describe the best business of your store is it going to be bakery pastry and shop clothing events festivals hobby um game shop consulting and a lot more but for now since we are a youtube channel and we're about content creation we're going to be uh selecting consulting right so i'm going to click on next so for example in this case you need to choose is it going to be sole proprietorship limited liability company or LLC corporation partnership charities and nonprofits I'm going to use the LLC instead now if you want to provide this I'm just going to click on next but it's um really important to provide all the information needed here okay now it's very important to provide the physical business address if you don't have yet just skip this process and go back to the shop for hardware if you want to click the start button you will be forwarded to the same procedure you have to provide all the information is it going to be on the go brick and mortar multiple locations and a lot more if you want to skip let's do that so we would see our options here along the way it takes a little while so if you're having issues accessing the website you might want to use a vpn so Here's going to be the point of sale hardware that um, Square for Retail recommends. If you want to see all of them, click this. So you have the uh, Square Reader for a contact list and chip. That's going to be $59. For USB-C, that's going to be like for free. Obviously, a Square Reader for Meg Stripe. Square Terminal is going to be like $299 for over um, 12 months. You have the Square Handheld. Square Stand, second generation USB C, and of course the Square Register, plus the Square Kiosk or USB C, depending of course on your business store. All right, just click on next. Or if you want to, um, let's say go back again 
to the main homepage, we can do that. We're gonna skip this. If you don't have any physical locations, I'm just giving out your options. For the uh, take a payment, if you want to click on the start button, you need to choose how would you like to take the payment. Is it gonna be downloading the app, send an invoice, take a payment from your computer, or create a payment link? If you choose, for example, the uh, last option, creating a payment link right here, you will be forwarded to choose a purpose. Take a payment, sell an item, sell an event, or accept by donation. So let's say take a payment. I want you to click the continue button and you would have all of these options, all right? So the description is gonna be in this instance, I am using this. You need to upload an image, let's do that. And then you can drag and drop your image here. Now we're gonna go to the next section, which is gonna be for the online section now with the online section right here you have the option to connect your in-person retail to your e-commerce presence if you want to click the create a link you can do that you can build and manage your free square online store all right absolutely at no cost you have the sales channels if you wanted to enable click and collect to pick up shipping or delivery you can choose these doordash uber eats um google ads meta for business order with google Facebook for uh, food ordering and a lot more. Now, how about the customers? The customers provides you all the built-in CRM, customer profiles, and purchase history, insights, and a lot more. So you can track loyalty and rewards plus the marketing campaigns. Okay, within the uh, Square Retail for um, CRM. Now, with that in mind, you also have the reports. We're in. This is going to be your analytics hub for real-time sales inventory and staff performance right so you have uh, the uh, inventory reports best sellers low st stocks employee performance metrics and of course you have the ability to export data for accounting and a lot more last is going to be the staff now the staff is where you can manage your team for example you have uh, the, the uh, team members right here you can add employees if you want for example in this case we're going to add our new employee say for example preferred name I put that here and click the next button which is kind of really great for tracking hours and sales performance because you can integrate with payroll providers last is gonna be the uh, banking now with the banking this is where you can manage and view transfers and deposits you have the balance loans and bill pay wherein you can set up square checking or link external accounts manage your card reader and hardware related payouts which is kind of really handy and with that being said and that wraps up our walkthrough in using square for retail so if you're a small to mid-sized retailer looking for a streamlined point of sale system with built-in tools for growth square for retail is a solid choice it's easy to use scalable and gives you the control you need on one dashboard from managing your inventory and customers to processing payments and reviewing insightful reports square for retail makes running your business smoother and smarter if you have any questions or want us to explore more tools like this drop a comment below we'd love to hear from you again if you found this video helpful give it a like do not forget to subscribe to our channel for more easy to follow tutorials and share this with a fellow business owner who needs a smart POS systems. And that's it for today's video. Thank you so much for watching. We will see you again in the next one.